the road to the Final Four ends here. Eight drivers have a chance for glory, but eight will become four after tonight. Welcome to Richmond. The final race before we go to Homestead, Miami, is under the lights here in Richmond International Raceway. A big race on hand. Matt Kenseth locked himself in two weeks ago in Minnesota. And seven other drivers have a chance to lock themselves in tonight. But only three can do so. Here, check out your drivers to watch for. Dale Earnhardt Jr. starting mid-pack in tonight's race. Not what he wanted, but lucky for him, he's comfortably inside heading into tonight. Chase Elliott also has a good points cushion, but poor qualifying and practice has set him mid-pack for the start. Kyle Busch, he's two points out of the Final Four. After disaster struck at Chicagoland, Kyle Busch rebounded and has done well at Minnesota to get himself in this position. And Kevin Harvick is in almost a must-win situation for tonight after getting in with this guy, Denny Hamlin, two weeks ago at Minnesota. Denny Hamlin's got one goal tonight, and that is win, and he's lucky he's heading to Richmond. So for the Season 8 playoff standings, Matt Kenseth, he advanced with the win. Dale Jr. is plus 13. Chase Elliott is plus 12. And then Kyle Lars Larson's only plus 2 over Kyle Busch. Kozlowski at 5, it's five spots out. Harvick's 12. And Ham is in a must-win situation. Now for the command. Drivers, start your engines. The cars roll off here in Richmond. And we're going to check out the starting grid. For the starting lineup in Richmond, row 1, we have Matt Kenseth, last week's winner, next to Jimmy Johnson. Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. are in row 2. And in row 3, Kevin Harvick and Casey Kane. Row 4, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Carl Edwards. Row 5, Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano. Clint Boyer and Kyle Busch in row 6. Row 7, we have Kyle Larson and Austin Dillon. And in row 8, Ryan Newman and Dylan Malone. Carter Adelman and Logan McDaniel in row 9. Chase Elliott and Danica Patrick in row 10. And in row 11, we have Kurt Busch and Eric Jones. The fan favorite, Dale Jr. next to Bryce Harvey in row 12. And then Jamie McMurray next to Camden Luca in row 13. We got Ryan Blaney and Jimmy Lanya in row 14. Landon Castle and Matt DiBenedetto in row 15. Paul Menard and Ty Dillon. And then in row 17, Trevor Bain and Michael McDowell. David, or sorry, Landon Castle and AJ Allmendinger. And then Eric Amarola rounds up the field in row 19. So it's green flag time for the cutoff race. And we are, it's underway. Matt Kenseth gets out to the lead. Here comes Denny Hammond. Oh, Truex gets into Johnson. He's up the wall. He gets turned by Stenhouse. Stenhouse up into Casey Kane. Carl Edwards piles in. So does Newman and Austin Dillon. Kyle Busch got some damage as well. Oh, my goodness. What a pile up down the backstretch here at the drop of the green flag. The red flag has been displayed immediately as the backstretch is clogged full of cars. Watch as Martin Truex Jr. gets into Jimmy Johnson. Johnson got a poor start to this race. And there goes Stenhouse just turning Jimmy Johnson into that inside wall. Kyle Larson sneaks by there. And then Kyle Busch, watch, Kyle Busch gets hit right at the end. Oh my gosh, there's Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, it looks like he kind of just gets turned. Casey Kane got up into the wall initially. Oh, Boyer gets turned late there. And then Ryan Newman just has Arca breaks in that crash right there. So Clint Boyer was involved in this one. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Jimmy Johnson had a great car tonight. Casey Kane, Carl Edwards sadly involved. Austin Dillon's in this one. Ryan Newman with the no brakes. And Kyle Busch did his best to avoid. But wow, did he receive some damage in this one. Watch right here. Does his best to avoid. And wham! Right there by Ryan Newman. Also gets in the back of Carl Edwards. Kyle Busch is not going to pit because he is two points out. He needs this to go his way tonight. So Kyle Busch will continue with the damage from Ryan Newman. And Clint Boyer gets repairs and is ready to return. And on the left side of the screen, you will see the points as they run through the lap. So be sure to check on those if you would like. Matt Kenseth leads the field back to the green flag. Denny Hamlin gets a start with him. They're side by side going into turn one. Matt Kenseth takes the lead down the back strip. But here comes Denny Hamlin once again trying to get after him. Through the front stretch they come. It's Denny Hamlin looking to the outside of Matt Kenseth. Back to the inside. Good turn two by Denny Hamlin. He's going to take the lead coming into turn three and four. As they come by this time, it will show Denny Hamlin in the race lead. With that win, he advances to Miami. As Denny Hamlin leads this race. But here comes Brad Kozlowski. He's eight points behind the cutoff right now. Kozlowski needs a good night. And he's going to get around Martin Truex Jr. right here. Kozlowski has a great car here in Richmond. 
There's Kyle Busch. He's still two points behind, but he's two points behind who? That would be Chase Elliott as the cars roar by the front stretch. Chase Elliott's having a very bad race so far right now with that deep starting spot. But here goes Brad Keselowski trying to take it three wide on Matt Kenseth and Kevin Harvick. What a pass by Keselowski. Kind of cuts off Harvick there. Harvick had to get way out of the gas. He's going to lose some ground. Keselowski up to third. Good moves by Brad Keselowski this past lap. Now he's just three points in the cutoff. But Denny Hamlin is your race leader. The car is looking great for Denny Hamlin out front. Matt Kenseth won last week. He's got nothing to worry about. Oh, Brad Keselowski really loose there. But Matt Kenseth has an easy week here at Richmond. One last week, but he still wants to win this race to add a trophy to his collection. Then you got Brad Kozlowski telling Paul Wolf the car is great. As Kozlowski is going to try and get to the outside of Matt Kenseth here, and he's going to get it done. That just moves Kozlowski one point behind Chase Elliott. So Brad Kozlowski's car is looking fantastic here. Now we continue through this field with Chase drivers as Kevin Harvick really needs a win here tonight. He knows that, but he just does not have the car. He has the car for a good top three, top five car. Just... He knows it's not there, and the speed will not get him to the front. And then Kyle Busch, a lot of concern on that crew right now with that damage from the early wreck, but the car is looking fine because Kyle Busch is in good position right now. He's, he's got to make up one more position to get up inside that top four. And there's Dale Jr. comfortably seven spots ahead of Kyle Busch and Brad Kozlowski. Dale Jr. doing a great job tonight driving that car from mid-pack, and he's climbing his way all the way up inside to the top ten for Dale Jr. in his retirement season. And then Kyle Larson really struggling. He was only two points to the good tonight. And right now he is six points back of Brad Kozlowski. Kyle Larson just having a miserable night here in Richmond. The car handling is not there. He's way too loose. Oh, he gets, makes contact with Eric Jones down the front stretch. And there's another position for Kyle Larson there. That's much needed for him tonight. And then the man who's really struggling as he pushes McMurray out of the way is Chase Elliott. Him and Alan Gustafson have not ran well here at Richmond in the Cup Series as McMurray gets into him once again. So Chase Sally is getting beat around here at Richmond, just not looking good for the 24 as he is tied for that cutoff. And here comes Brad Kozlowski with Denny Hamlin looking for the lead. Wow, Kozlowski had to get out of the gas there. Hamlin's going to block him down the front stretch. Here comes Kozlowski to the outside. Hamlin runs it over to the track and into the wall. Here comes Martin Truex Jr. now trying to chase down Denny Hamlin for the race lead. And we got a car around at 3-4, and, and it's Jamie McMurray. Caution is out on the racetrack. And watch as Clint Boyer just gets into McMurray there in 3-4. and four. Not good for Jamie McMurray as Clint Boyer was running through the field. And we just ran him down, but let's do it again. Matt Kenseth currently fifth in the race, but he's first in the points with that win last week. Denny Hamlin currently first on the track and second in the points, but if he falls out of that race lead, it's not looking good for Denny Hamlin. Dale Jr., he is currently ninth on the track and third in the points, so he's in to Homestead and Kyle Busch currently sixth, fourth in the points after Keselowski got into the wall. So Keselowski's got some damage to that car, but he's going to give it his all on this last restart. Chase Elliott is currently 18th on the track, sixth in the points. He is tied, but Brad Kozlowski would get that tiebreaker for being up front. Kyle Larson is not looking good. He's currently 11th on the track. And Harvick's 8th in points right now. 4th on the racetrack. Kevin Harvick had a good chance to get that must-win situation under check. So here we go. Green flag is back in the air in Richmond. Oh, Truex gets a great restart. Here comes Kyle Busch through the middle. Kozlowski dives it in. 3-1 for the race lead. Kozlowski takes it. Here comes Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin. Kyle Busch and Brad Kozlowski, better rivals on the track. They race for the lead. Truex gets into Kyle Busch. Martin Truex Jr. wants to win. Oh, Denny Hamlin's around into the inside wall. Kyle Busch takes the lead. Caution is out, and Kyle Busch wins at Richmond and advances to Homestead. What a finish. Oh, Chase Elliott goes around. Oh, my goodness. There was no caution, by the way. That was premature call there. No caution on the track, but Kyle Busch did win the race. Kyle Busch... Burning it down here in Richmond. Wow, what chaos. Let's check this out. Denny Hamlin's successful night goes to ruins here in Richmond. All right, a little bit of a disclaimer here. I know this looks really bad with Hamlin wrecking, trying to go for the win. But this Richmond race was made in the first weeks of October, if not the last weeks of September. I can't really remember when. But this race was made before... Martinsville took place. This is not revenge on Denny Hamlin. I know what it looks like. 
This looks bad on my part. I did not intentionally take Denny Hamlin out. It was just what happened. So I am sorry to all you Hamlin fans. This was not premeditated. This was just a coincidence. Thank you. Into the inside wall, off the nose of Kevin Harvick. They had history two weeks ago at Minnesota, but that was not intentional by any means. Just got loose for Denny Hamlin. Kyle Busch wins and goes to Homestead. Brad Kozlowski advances over Chase Elliott by a single point. Kozlowski led that <laughs> lap to the line, and that one point of leading a lap gets him in, and Elliott is not happy with the SHR drivers. Harvick falls short of success, and Kyle Larson will not go to Homestead. He is eliminated today after a poor run, and Dale Jr. consistent and gets his way into Homestead through this playoffs. So we're going to check out your playoff standings. There it is. Brad Kozlowski over Chase Elliott by one single point. Kyle Larson falls two points short here tonight as well. Major heartbreak here in the playoffs, but Kyle Busch and Matt Kenseth both got wins, and they advance to Homestead along with Dale Jr. and Brad Kozlowski. That is your cha championship four. So ninth place is Car Carter Adelman in the points. Joey Logano, Carl Edwards. And there's your, just your points rundown. So in the comments below, out of that top four, who do you think is going to take the championship in Homestead, Miami? Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth, Dale Jr., or Brad Kozlowski? And you got a feel for Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott. Both have had great years. Same with Kevin Harvick and Denny Hamlin, but they fall short of glory here. So your finishing results is Kyle Busch. Brad Kozlowski finishes second, and with that lap lead coming to the white flag, he gets into Homestead just like that. Truex and Harvick, third and fourth. Danica Patrick, how about that, with a nice top five. Danica makes her way into Homestead with a top five finish. Well, she doesn't make her way into Homestead. She goes to Homestead with the top five. Just... Yeah, I didn't mean to say it like that, I guess. Uh, Larson finished 8th tonight. Sad for him. 10th place was Dale Jr. And 11th was Dylan Malone. And in 12th tonight was Eric Jones with a nice run. Him and Truex both had good cars. 13th was Ryan Blaney. And in 14th was Logan McDaniel. Finishing 15th was Kurt Busch. And in 16th was Clint Boyer. 17th was Chase Elliott. And in 18th place was Paul Menard. Finishing 19th tonight was Bryce Harvey. And I know I made a disclaimer about this earlier on. Ken Luca finishes 20th, by the way. Uh, but Denny Hamlin, that wreck was not intentional. I know what it looks like. I know I'm a... Most of you know I'm a Chase Elliott fan. I was upset about Martinsville, but this race was made way before Martinsville happened. So, I mean, probably people will probably still say that, that that's why it happened. That's why I wrecked Hamlin out, but no... It's not this. I I've done my stop motions way before. I had Homestead, I had the Homestead race done before Martinsville. So I mean, everything's done. It just has to come out. So I mean, the way I did my schedule is just so I wouldn't be rushed to edit these videos and whatnot. So this is just another disclaimer, trying to make myself not look like a jerk for wrecking Hamlin. But that's just the way it happened. I mean, my stop motions are random in my head. I don't have a predetermined winner. I just kind of go with the flow, and that's what happens. So the next race, we're going to Homestead, Miami. It's going to be exciting. This is JG24, JM26, signing out. Thanks for watching.